So this is our project. The purpose of the project is to show you how you can easily create a human machine interface for a PC that links to an Arduino Uno. So on this board, I've got an Arduino Uno, a switch connected to A0, and a four line, 20 character LCD display. And at the moment, there's just a simple message saying waiting, as it's waiting for me to press that switch. On the PC interface, I've got a switch marked goodbye, a switch marked hello, and there's a text field that currently says waiting. Now each time I click on the switch, it increments a counter in the Arduino device, and it displays a message on the display that says message count equals followed by the number of the counter. Correspondingly, each time I press the switch, it displays or it sends the message via USB to the PC. The PC picks that up and it displays the message in the text field. And so this shows that we have communication from the Arduino to the PC. Correspondingly, if I click on the uh, one of the switches on the PC interface. So I click on the goodbye switch. You can see that goodbye is displayed on the LCD. If I click on the hello switch, it displays hello on the LCD. Goodbye, hello. So this shows you that we have communication from the PC interface to the LCD display. Now in part two, we'll replace this very simple interface with some dials, switches and LEDs, a much more sophisticated program that will allow you to develop more complex data gathering and control systems for your Arduino. But for now, this very simple project will help you to understand how this project is assembled. So this is the hardware. We've got a standard Arduino Uno, a prototype board. On the prototype board, there's a switch which feeds into A0 of the Arduino. And there's also a four line, 20 character display. It's a standard display that we bought from Amazon. And there are quite a few wires for the display which connect to pins eight to 13 of the Arduino. There's also a small potentiometer that just sets the contrast of the display itself, but you need to have that in place. The circuit for this is in the flow code application. So this is the embedded program written in flow code embedded. On the panel, we've got three components. We've got the four by 20 display, a switch and we've got a COM port component which is mimicking the FTDI device on the Arduino that provides communication between the microcontroller itself and the USB port and it's basically serial communication. On the panel I've also got some other information which relates to the circuit of the system so you can see the effective net list of how the LCD is connected, the pins that are used on the Arduino, uh, the circuit of the switch and the contrast potentiometer. So if you want to replicate this project that shows you how to wire this system up. On the program we've got a begin then we start the LCD and we initialize the UART component. We then set a counter up and say the value of that counter is zero and on the LCD we print waiting. We've then got a loop, uh, which is a loop while one. In other words, while one is always true, so this is an infinite loop. We check the USB system for any incoming messages and if there is a message, we put it into a variable MSG. We test the length of that uh, variable or actually it's a string and if the string 
is greater than a length of zero. In other words, if there is a message, we clear the LCD, and we print that string onto the LCD. So that's our hello or goodbye message. And we then increment the number of the counter. We then read the state of the switch. And if the switch is pressed, we set the message to be whatever the counter is. And we send that string via the UART component and USB to the PC. We wait until the switch is released. Then we set the cursor to be 0, 01 on the LCD and we print the string message count equals and the value of the count. Then we increment the count and we go around the loop again. So that's the entire program. So you can see that the components inside Flowcode make it easy to set up communications between the embedded system and the PC. So this is the Flowcode developer program. This is our panel and on the panel I've got a title, text, a switch marked goodbye, a switch marked hello, a text field which we're going to use to display the incoming message and a COM port. And the Arduino is really fantastic because it's got an FTDI chip which provides a link between the serial port on the microcontroller to the USB and this flow code component takes care of all of the problems associated with that. Now for those of you who are not so familiar with flow code, the way this works is um, you click on a component, uh, you can see the properties of that component and then all of the macros related to that component are provided for you um, and you can drag and drop those onto the workspace. So there are huge libraries within flow code that allow you to control all sorts of systems. So that's the panel and that effectively is the application that is going to appear to the user. This is the design side of flow code. What you do is you then um, save the file so that it appears as an executable, which you can then distribute to whoever you wish. So the program has a begin. We open a COM port to the USB and we then set the value of the text field to waiting. We then have an infinite loop uh, or a loop while one. We then check to see if there's any data uh, on the USB port and if there is we put that into a text uh, variable called msg message. If the length of the message is greater than zero, in other words if there is some information, we set the text field to be whatever message has been transmitted from the embedded application. Next we check the status of the two buttons. So we first of all check the status of the hello button. Uh, if it's pressed we send a string uh, hello via the COM port and we then reset the button. Similarly if the goodbye switch has been pressed we send that on the USB port and then we reset the switch. We then wait for 10 milliseconds and we go around this loop again. Now this is the entire program and you can see it's very simple because we only have a limited functionality and a limited number of components on the panel. Of course, as your projects get more sophisticated, the program will become a little more complex. Now this is the Flowcode website and the resources can be found under App Developer Sample Projects. And there's a lot of projects for you there, but this particular example is based on this one entitled Serial Comms Worked Example PC Developer. And you can download all the files and the documentation that'll show you how to work through this project uh, for your own uses.